14 years ago, this would have been the center of your attention. The HP Media PC. Great for your entire family. But now, it's trash. I think that we should bring it back to life. Here we are. This is the HP P6000 that uh, was free, I don't know, months ago. And I think I recovered data from it, I'm not sure. It's very old. I'm not sure what year this is from, say. I don't know. It's old, but it's kind of really gross and dirty and there's just nasty stuff everywhere. I think I took the hard drive out of it and then recovered data and I just kind of threw this in the whatever pile. But I keep walking by it and I feel bad for it. It's probably still a good computer. All I know is it has a Pentium something and it's very dirty. So I decided today, since I had some spare time, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up and restore it back to its original glory. And I did wanna do a, a Vista video or an XP video, so this might be a good candidate. It's DDR2 here, there's IDE still, or is that, maybe that's floppy, I don't know. Look at, see it doesn't even have the, the extra connections. It's so old that the SATA needs an adapter from the power supply. It's just really gross. So let's go ahead and clean it up. Uh, there's just dust everywhere in here. Look at that. So let's do that and see what we can do and uh, give this guy some new life. Oh, look at the CPU. Oh, no. So here it is all clean. The, um, I took off the CPU fan to clean the thermal paste. I didn't even have to clean it because it came off in one piece. <laughs> so, yeah, it has new thermal paste. There's a Pentium dual core. The year I'm still not sure of. And what I'm thinking is, I did boot this up before. I wanted to make sure it actually would turn on before I did all of this. So I did boot it up with a Windows 10 hard drive. It booted fine. And it actually has six gigabytes of memory, which is, seems like a lot for the time. And then I have not sure what I should do. I have this Vista hard drive that I've been dying to play with. And I, I'm trying to keep a hard drive available of each generation, like XP, Vista, 7, 8, 10, whatever. I can't find my Windows 7 one. But I think if this is like 2008 or whatever year it is, this would actually be period correct for the, uh, the time. So I think I'm gonna put that in there. There's actually a modem in here. Can't really see it, but there's a, a dial-up modem in there. So I'm gonna try and, I don't know if it's gonna recognize this, but I'm gonna try and put this Wi-Fi in there. Otherwise I can't get online. And then this is the hard drive cage. I forget how this goes in. Oh wait, it goes like. Oh wait, it goes this way. 
Okay. Yeah, it slides up like that. Okay, and then this will go in there. So I'll put a Windows 10 drive in it at the end when I'm done with it, but I thought it would be funny to try and boot from the Vista drive. If it won't recognize the, the Wi-Fi adapter, then we'll just do Windows 10 because I know that already works. So yeah, that's that. Pretty gross. I've never seen so much dust. I think I took a couple years off my life by cleaning it out like that, but now I'm curious. So let's uh, put it all back together and boot it up and see what happens. After all these years, there's only one thing left to do. Welcome to 2024, my friend. Here's the part you didn't see and uh, the video is running long, so try and keep it short. I did put the Vista drive in and it booted right up and it was really funny to see Vista again and we'll do a video about that at some point but it didn't recognize the Wi-Fi adapter and I couldn't do anything and then all these alerts came up and it was really annoying so I put the Windows 10 drive in and it's in there now and it's doing updates and stuff and I'm kind of surprised for this being, I guess it would be 2010, I really can't find a lot of information on this computer. I've been searching and searching and searching, and I just, I can't find, there's so many different pavilions and all these other things. But um, it, it kind of, I'm surprised. I've had Windows 10 computers that take an eternity to boot up. And this one, I mean, it is a fresh Windows 10 installation, of course, but it just booted right in, easy, fast. And I, I kind of poked around a little bit while I was doing the updates. It, it, it's, it's actually not bad. So I think um, I don't have a picture of it done, but it's it's really clean now. It looks nice. The front's nice and polished. All the dust is gone. And uh, I think this will be a good computer for somebody. I might just give it away because at this point, it's not really worth selling. So um, it's good for education. You know, maybe some old person or somebody that doesn't have a computer. I'll just give it to them for free. I, I don't need the money. It was just the, the journey of bringing it back to life. It, it, this probably would have been in a dumpster somewhere. Was very satisfying. So... Yeah, sometimes you just do it for the fun, not for the money. And uh, we'll see what else we can rescue. So thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.